As I was opening up this box of PS2 games, something caught my eye that made me laugh. Uh, so I wanted, I wanted to show it off. It's, I, I thought it was pretty funny. First of all, though, check out this sweet desktop background. Alright, so, to give a little context, um, I saw this set online for 2,500 yen, which I thought was a really good deal, because there's a lot of great games in here, and I'll, I'll show them off in a bit, but when you buy stuff online and people ship it to you, sometimes they'll use newspaper in the, in the box as padding, um, and once in a while I'll, I'll, I'll pull out the newspaper and I'll read an article just to, you know, practice my Japanese a little bit and get myself something to do. So this isn't this isn't what made me laugh, but you know, I'll, I'll open it up and read about um, Boris Johnson going to a party during lockdown or look at COVID rankings, you know, whatever, whatever you need to make yourself depressed, right? Um, so. I'm going through this box and I see Devil May Cry 3 demo. Two copies of Everbreeze. One of them doesn't have a manual, the other one does. Uh, Soul Calibur 2, Virtual Fighter 4. Go up here. Biohazard Outbreak. Uh, another copy of Derby Servers. And uh, I go over here and I pull this out. Otona de Nandaro. Kanai. Zanzan no Kanai. So, based on the subheader, uh, it seems to be about how in April of this year, Japan changed the legal, na the legal age of adulthood from 20 to 18, and so it's, uh, just asking, like, what, 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 what does it mean, what, what is, uh, an adult, I guess, legally or, or culturally, I haven't actually read the article yet, but, uh, I, I just thought it was so funny to be, <laughs> to be opening up a, a bo box of PS2 games, and, otonate, nandaro? That was the funny part of uh, the rest of this video. I'm just going to show off what was in this box. Um, if you're not interested, stop watching here. But uh, there was some really cool stuff in here, and I, I couldn't believe I got all this for 2,500 yen. Um, so there's, there's the other stuff there, but... Uh, Gundam game, Unlimited Saga. I have a copy of this already. Um, well, I have the English and another copy of the Japanese version, but this is my favorite game ever, so I have no issue with having more than one copy of this. Uh, the Boku no Machi Tsukuri, Kingdom Hearts 2, Guilty Gear X, X. Tales of Rebirth, Dark Cloud, Kukaki o Kuku. I forget what the localized name of this was, but I wanted to play this for a while. It looks really cool. And Studio Ghibli assisted with it. I guess they did character designs or something. Uh, Attack on the Tatsujin game. Based on a manga, but I'm not familiar with it. Summer Night X Days? X Days. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be in English. It's a tactical RPG series. <clears throat> Dragon Quest 
Electromania. Cheap motorcycle game. No, you're a three. I don't have the second one, so I won't play this yet. But I do want to play all the Komatachi games eventually. Bouncer. Didn't Kawazu do something on this? Maybe not. Somebody, no, it was a. Uh, what's that guy? The Hanzuku Hero guy. He worked on this. Takashi Tokita, that's his name. Takashi Tokita. Oh. Another Gundam game. Dead or Alive 2. Dragon Quest 8. That's a double. Another copy of Kingdom Hearts 2. always end up with some like simple 2000 crap when you get a set, but you know, it's it's something that you live with to get the good stuff like the Kamaitachi games and Rakugaki Okufus and stuff like that. <clears throat> Minstrel Song. I did not have the Japanese version. The North American version is probably the better version to play, though, because it has bug fixes and Sarwene is significantly harder in the English version. Particularly, like, Ten Fate Stone Sarwene is much, much harder, and a lot of Japanese players will actually import the English version specifically to, to beat Ten Fate Stone Sarwene on that version, uh, which takes a minimum of three playthroughs. <laughs> So you can just imagine the lengths that the Sawa fans go to to torture themselves with <laughs> the hardest, maybe the hardest boss in any RPG. It's really, really goddamn hard. Um, so we can in four, so we can in three. I did beat Ten Face on Sorrow in the English version. But the playthrough took me like uh, a long time because I was always farming uh, like upgrade materials to make air weapons and stuff, which I probably didn't need, but it helps. It helps. It's all about deflection though. You gotta deflect those Deus Ex Machinas. Uh, Phantom Kingdom, this is a Nipponichi game. I think it was released in between Phantom Brave and Disgaea 2. Now Phantom Brave I really liked. I played a lot of Phantom Brave a number of years ago. Hopefully this is kind of similar since it released very closely to that one. Tales of Destiny 2 and Eternal Ring. This was a launch title for the PS2. I don't think it's regarded as one of FromSoft's best. Um, 
What is this? Like a knockoff Kingsfield, I guess. By the makers of Kingsfield. That's it, so I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna read this article. Otonate Nandoro. And, uh. Maybe enjoy some PS2 games. That's it.